Well, the Diamond Jubilee celebrations may be over, but for one Australian artist, the work has just begun. Sydney-based Ralph Hymans has moved to London for the commission of his career, a massive portrait of the Queen. Here's our Europe correspondent, Philip Williams, with this exclusive report. She's been painted by the great and the good for decades. The results often loved, sometimes controversial, even loathed. We can't show you the painting in progress, nor can we reveal exactly where it's been created. It's all under wraps before the official unveiling of the huge work at the National Portrait Gallery in Canberra, which commissioned it. News the Queen agreed to a sitting was a moment of excitement and terror. When I got the call that, 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 I, that the commission was going to go ahead, I was absolutely you know, amazed, was thrilled, was really you know, excited and nervous, because suddenly it was only, there was only 10 days' notice before the actual sitting, so it all happened very last minute. With little time to prepare, Ralph Hyman's had just a few days to gather a crew to help make the most of the one-hour sitting in Buckingham Palace, though this was not the setting for the work. Again, that's a secret. The types of places that I was trying to get access to required you know, permission from the highest authority. So getting, getting all that together um, was a challenge. But once the news of the commission had come through, the doors flung open. This is not the first time Ralph Hymans has painted royalty. He created this image of a homegrown Princess Mary in Denmark, his trademark shadows and reflections, and a pose dignified yet informal. But this commission is on another scale, both in size and expectations. It's the pinnacle, really, for any portrait painter, I think, to sort of get a commission to paint the Queen. So um, I'm just really excited about the, the opportunities and the prospects from, from here on. Painting the world's most famous woman in a year of international spotlight does up the pressure. But judgments will have to be reserved until the work is unveiled in Canberra this October.